Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I'm sure right now you're probably thinking I'm in sunny California or maybe Arizona, but in fact, we are in Belvedere, New Jersey. Today I'm at the home of one of my awesome vendors. Her name is Sandy. Um, and her and her husband, Bill, live in this amazing home. It was built um, with a Spanish style that you're never gonna see anywhere else in this area. So come with me today so we can go explore. Belvedere is mostly known for its Victorian homes. There's even a square that just has Victorian homes around every corner. But there is a corner in the town that has Sandy's home and it is this adorable pink stucco Spanish Revival style home. The home began being built in 1927 and was completed around the year 1929. A Portland, Pennsylvania banker actually traveled to California and saw all these Spanish style homes and wanted to build one back on the East Coast. So he ended up having all of the material to build these homes sent by train cross country. Unfortunately, in 1929, when the stock market crashed, the banker did take his own life and never ended up living in the home. The banker's niece, Sadie, ended up inheriting the home and rented it out through the 1930s and part of the 1940s until 1947 when Sandy's grandparents found the home, fell in love, and made Sadie an offer she could not refuse. As you can see above the fireplace mantle, there is this Aztec or Mayan tile work display. So right about now is a good time to mention that my vendor Sandy has one of the largest Fiesta collections I've ever seen in my life. And you're going to see some amazing pieces throughout her home that I don't think many other people have. One of my favorite parts about Sandy's home is her arched doorways and her tall ceilings. The combination of this is just something that we do not see often on the East Coast and I absolutely love this style. And this little guy came to say hello, his name is Stormy. I also love all these built-ins. She has this pantry over here with the glass door and the tile work around it. Again, an arched way. I just love it. She has this great little sun porch off of her dining room that is just so peaceful. Now, I didn't want to invade their privacy, but I absolutely love this little stairway up to the bedrooms. And this guest room had a great combination of things that interest Bill, but it also had some items that Sandy collected, like all these cute little antiques. And this bathroom was super small, but super fun. Sandy has a great collection of matchbooks. And check out this sink. We headed into the kitchen, and as you can see, Sandy's Fiesta collection continued.
This little breakfast nook was another favorite part of Sandy's home. And of course she had this amazing cabinet just completely filled with fiesta ware. I did not venture downstairs to the basement, but Sandy did say that she has even more fiesta wear in boxes in her basement that she just does not have room to display. I decided to head back outside to take a look at the house and how adorable this pink stucco is. Now, this was not the original color of the house. In fact, it was not this color until Sandy's grandparents bought it in the 1940s, 1950s. Um, sometime around then, they decided to make it have pink stucco. I had to share her absolutely stunning pool. Now this was a pool that Sandy put in at some point in the 80s and they originally were going to make a fence around the entire pool like this wrought iron one, but Sandy actually requested them to build a wall and make it the pink stucco as well. Sandy has all these beautiful, almost tropical flowers throughout her whole entire property and I just love it. You don't feel like you're in New Jersey. You feel like you are somewhere else like Southern California or maybe Florida. I don't know, but it is not in the normal New Jersey feel. I think it's safe to say that Sandy's home is pretty magical. Thank you so much, Sandy, for sharing your home with me and allowing me to share it with all my YouTube subscribers. And thank you everyone for watching my channel. If you have not done so already, please consider subscribing. It really helps me when I'm making my content.